newspaper, creating a personal blog. The internet equivalent of a newspaper or a magazine is a blog, and your personal blog should be found smack dab in the center of your social media solar system. This is your home world, and the best place where people can learn what makes you tick and why you do the things you do. It answers all the important questions someone might have about you. Just like a newspaper or magazine, you may want to have a section for each of the areas that you want to share with the world. You'll probably want to divide your blog into four or five sections, sections that paint a fairly accurate portrait of what it is to be you. Let's say you're interested in politics, so you dedicate a section on your blog to discussing the important issues of the day or your opinions of politicians. Maybe you want to express your feelings about your faith and beliefs in a religious section. Maybe there's a sports section where you discuss your favorite sporting activities or teams. Maybe you're a foodie who likes to cook and share tasty recipes. If so, then you'll want to create a mouth-watering food section that will delight the Epicurean within. After someone spends some time bouncing around your blog, they should be able to say to you, Now I know what makes you tick. The biggest challenge facing bloggers is actually sitting down on a regular basis to write the content. So as you're deciding what categories to write about, make sure they interest you enough so that you can write about them without banging your head repeatedly on the keyboard. If you can talk about something for hours, then chances are it will make a good category. If you're not a good writer, you can post an audio or video recording or upload a photograph or a drawing that illustrates a difficult-to-describe concept. Keep in mind that the objective is to reveal facets of your personality and aspects of your life that will encourage people to know, like, and trust you. That means you need to try to keep the content interesting and engaging, even if you're not an interesting or engaging person. Of course, I'm not encouraging you to write fiction. On the contrary, you need to be as honest as is prudent. Just don't write anything that would embarrass you, your grandchildren, your parents, your friends, your employer, or prevent you from being elected to a public office.